I've been playing Star Stable Online for around 11 years now. So to say the least, I have seen the game grow and evolve. When I was around 9 years old, I had a dream of being able to ride horses, but wasn't able to at the time. So when I stumbled on Star Stable, it felt like my chance to ride horses. As silly as that sounds, even if it was in a pixelated world. I quickly fell in love with this world and the game where I could ride around wherever I pleased, whenever I wanted. Then, unknowingly, I was dropped into a world that included so much more than just riding around a beautiful map. Star Stable is packed full of adventure with endless quests you and your horse can embark on together, unraveling the mysteries of their world, Jorvik. If you are in need of your own pixelated horse adventure, there's no better choice than to jump into Star Stable Online. What's up everybody? It's me Mandy here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I am going to be talking about why you should play Star Stable. So if you haven't played the game before or you're a new player or you kind of just don't really know the game that well, this video is for you, but it is also for those who have been playing Star Stable for a while, who are currently really playing Star Stable all the time, you love it, or you haven't played it in a while. I want you all to contribute to by commenting why you play Star Stable, or why you love playing it so much, or why you started playing it. Anything you want to add in the comments, comment that down below so people who haven't played the game can know how amazing it is. So we are going to dive right into it today. Emerald Clover is smiling because she is glad we are in Star Stable today, like me, and we're going to dive right in. Awesome. So if you don't play Star Stable, this is, might be your first time really seeing the game. And I just want to take a moment to kind of just walk around and, and show you what it's like while I also give you some points on why I think Star Stable is so wonderful, why I would recommend it to people to play and why I play it. So the first point is the obvious. The animation is beautiful. I am walking around here at the first location you will end up if you play Star Stable and it is obviously just so beautiful. It's so fun to ride your horses around. Look at this. It's just like it doesn't take much to just look around and just know this is just a gorgeous game. There's so many outfit choices, tack choices, horse options, locations, characters. There's just things flourishing absolutely everywhere. So that is my first point is basically that this game is genuinely just really, really beautiful. You can crash into fences as well, which is awesome. My second point is that it's an MMO RPG. So you can play this with friends. You are in a world full of many different players and it's a multiplayer online game where you can log in and out. Everyone else can do the same and you can just meet so many people. I've met so many amazing, incredible people through Star Stable who also love horses, who also love the stories and the adventures of Jorvik. So many people that you have those things in common with and I think that's also why it is so awesome because everyone's just playing in the same world. They know this, you know, they, they do the same quests and they, they share their love for all the different horses and yeah, I think it's just, it makes a really, really beautiful community and that's also something that I love about Star Stable is that it is an MMORPG. I think it would be a lot less fun for me if, you know, you didn't see a bunch of horseback riders running around and doing their own quests and embarking on their own adventures. I think that's one of the the gems about Star Stable is that it is an MMORPG. So you could see me running around, I could see you running around and it would be great. We can interact, we could just kind of gallop by and focus on our quests kind of whatever. So it's it's kind of just a mix of, of all the fun things and we're all doing it together. Third is the storyline is incredible. So when you start Star Stable, they start you off at the very beginning. You get all the backstory and history and they just let you know everything you need to know from the beginning. And it starts out as, you know, kind of like small. And let me tell you, the storyline gets huge. It's massive. It's packed full of action and characters and just so much history goes into the world of Jorvik. And if you're a new player or you just started the quest, you're like just starting the game, getting used to it, 
the storyline just evolves so much and I'm always one that's into the storyline and the plots and the world just just really grows and it's fun because at the beginning of the game obviously you don't know much about the storyline but it's also kind of a mystery to your character as well so it's really like you get to learn so much with your character which is how all games should be but they do it in such a, a good and informative way that you're just gonna fall in love with the story and with the characters and it's just it's really such a journey like i story quests have always been my favorite and even beyond story quests you have your main quests which are the the quests that are going to take you through the main storyline of all the action <laughs> and all the mystery and all the potential magic in star stable but you also have the side quests which are just kind of random little quests in different locations of the game so that you can get to know different locations and just kind of always have something to do to help you gain um, XP and uh, get higher levels in the game and because they're just honestly fun. So there's a ton, ton of quests that you can do in the game. It's crazy. You will never not have a quest to do. Some people somehow finish their quest log, which is incredible, but even if you do that, they're still releasing quests left and right, and it's amazing. Every Wednesday, Star Stable gives an update. So it might be a quest, it might be a new horse, it might be a special location for the season, it might be a code, just stuff like that. You're gonna see Wednesday updates every day, which you can see on their website. They will release that to their website every Wednesday, and you get to know what's happening. So it's constantly being updated. That's why it's also amazing that's an online game because there's, constantly things happening and so much excitement so many events it's awesome fourth is there are so many different activities questing like i just mentioned racing dressage and clubs where you can have a community to do all of them so clubs in star stable are basically a big chat where you can have all the people in the club in a, one community and there's rules in the club, there's calendars with different activities where you might do races one day, you might do dressage another day. There's a lot of dressage clubs out there where you can actually really learn how to do dressage in Star Steeple. And it's honestly really hardcore in a good way. Like if you love dressage, you will find plenty of opportunities to do that in video game form in Star Stable. And a lot of that is through clubs. They have lots of lessons and you can go join other clubs where you can do more things. And sometimes there's just more chill clubs where you hang out and you race and you talk. And it just depends on what kind of club you want, but there are a ton of different options for clubs. And that's another great way to make friends and to really uh, spend time with the community in Star Stable and do the things that you love in the game with other people who also love this, those things. Uh, there's different roles in clubs. So you've got like the leaders, the, the, if you're a new club member, you've got all sorts of different roles in the club and it's actually just such a fun feature. And there are so many things I could cover about this game, but simply riding around is so fun. Experiencing the world, seeing all the different things you can do, and if you're a horse lover, you get to just jump into this world and see so many different breeds of horses. They have breeds, new breeds constantly coming out. They already have so many horses you can buy. Just participating in all of these wonderful things, updates, community, racing, questing, role playing. There's a lot of role players on here. You can role play in the world. It's just a very, very immersive world. So if you're looking for a horse game, and this goes out to people who haven't played Star Stable, I definitely recommend Star Stable. I'm so glad I stumbled upon this game when I was a kid. I grew up with this game. I'm still playing this game. I love it. It's it's really like some, in some way, like a a home to me, a comfort game to me. And I still have the same horses I had when I was a kid. So many memories are just attached to this game, which is so wonderful. So if you are looking for a horse adventure with game with some realism, you can find Star Sea. Well, obviously I'm standing here in a very magical area and there's definitely some magic involved in this world. 
but it's also there's also touches of realism with the dressage and the role play aspects so there's really like so many different options and ways you can play this game it's so open world uh you can it's open to you if you don't want a membership but if you pay for star rider which is their membership you can have more locations and more quests but if you can't pay you can still have your horse you can still have your world to ride around in it just expands so much more with membership but i was a, not a star rider for a very long time and i still loved loved the game so especially if you just want to try it out without having to pay uh anything for you know extra add-ons and stuff like that I definitely recommend because it's free to make an account, it's free to start the game, it's free to ride around, to pick your horse. And the last thing I will say is the money system in this game. Basically, you just have your star coins here, which is coins that you can get through redeem codes and through star rider you get them more often or you can buy them online and these are the more rare coins you could say this is how you buy horses this is how you buy a little bit more of the uh higher quality stuff and then you have your shillings which you're constantly getting through quests and through doing stable care at the stables through, through races and stuff like that. So that's like the main money that you get is the Yorvik shillings. And those add up pretty fast if you're really questing and really uh, doing races and stuff like that. So that is pretty much all that I have. I just wanted to make this video because I make so much Star Stable content and I feel like I've never stopped and talked about why I think Star Stable is so great, especially if you are looking for a horse game. Star Stable is the, the way to go. It is my favorite horse game. I've checked out a lot. And it's honestly just my favorite. It's one of my favorite games in general. So if you would like to make an account, you can head to the link in the description or the link in the co pinned comment. And you can make your very own Star Stable account through my link. And I hope if you play it that you are blasted off into just a wonderful wonderful world i hope you love it i hope you enjoy it as much as much as i do and again if you currently play star stable i would love to hear why you play so that's also directed towards the people who've been playing star stable like me no matter how long you've been playing i would love to know why you love playing it uh why you started playing and you know anything that crosses your mind on that topic but with that being said i'm gonna run around and collect some more of these little fireflies and i hope that you all enjoy playing this beautiful game whether for the first time or for the hundredth time i hope you enjoy so thank you all so much for watching this video it means the world to me that you are here we have a new video every wednesday and a live stream every saturday so stick around for that if you want to see more i appreciate you all so much i hope you have a wonderful day bye guys